Hey everyone, it's me, Tom. It's 2.30 in the morning here in Chicago and I'm about to get on a Blue Line train to O'Hare. Well, I was hoping to do this cool montage of me riding the Blue Line, you know, getting on my flight and landing in LA, but the Blue Line was a no-show. In fact, if I hadn't taken a lift, which cost me an arm and a leg, I would have still been at Logan Square instead of here at my completely empty boarding gate. So, uh, hopefully the situation in Los Angeles is a little better than this and that's almost kind of sad that I have to say that because LAX is not known for its public transit situation. Uh, there's no direct train service yet and there's not even an airport people mover but today we're going to take perhaps the most direct way to get from the airport to downtown Los Angeles. We're taking the flyaway bus from LAX to Union Station. I love flying to LA because on a clear day, there are so many landmarks that you can see from the window. I woke up near Las Vegas and I recognized Lake Mead and the Hoover Dam. Then when you approach Los Angeles, you fly right by the mountains of San Bernardino and you even get a close-up look of downtown. Once we got to the gate, I had to rush to catch my bus. Flyaway runs all day, but not super frequently. I had my brother Bear on the phone, since he's done this before, and he was able to guide me to the bus. Signage wasn't very clear at the airport until I reached the baggage claim. Here's our bus, a Prevost H345. I'm a relative newbie to the coach bus world, so let me know in the comments if these are generally considered good buses. The comfort was fine by my standards. I picked a seat near the front of the coach. We departed almost immediately after I got on. Seriously, I was still on board the airplane 10 minutes before this. I got lucky. Made it onto the flyaway bus. We arrived at Terminal 5 and my flight was two hours delayed. The flyaway bus stops at all the terminals. So I got on at Terminal 5, then the next stop will be Terminal 6, Terminal 7 and 8, and then we're gonna go straight to Union Station. Since we didn't have time before, let's review the seats right now. The coach is pretty empty anyways. The seat comes with your standard footrest and a teeny tiny net. I do like that they have power sockets and USB outlets. I've got a full day of filming ahead of me, so I'll definitely be using these. And then there's a relatively generous recline. Overall, I was very content. Along the way, we pass under the future people mover. I'll explain more on that towards the end of the video. If you like this video and want to learn more about trains and transit all over the world, subscribe to Trains Are Awesome. We also have an Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon, so there's loads of ways to connect with us. Now let's talk about Flyaway itself. Our trip today will take about half an hour and costs a whopping $9.75. We're on one of the two routes that Flyaway operates. The other one connects LAX with Van Nuys Airport in the San Fernando Valley. Flyaway has been running from LAX to Van Nuys since 1975 and added the Union Station route in 2006. It is an initiative of the Los Angeles World Airports, the institution that operates both LAX and Van Nuys. The service actually generates a profit, but I mean, what do you expect with fares like that? We first run east on the Century Freeway, Interstate 105, and then we turn north onto the Harbor Freeway, Interstate 110. In both cases, the buses generally use the HOV express lanes. The HOV lanes on the Harbor Freeway form the Harbor Transit Way, where LA Metro operates their frequent J-Line bus. You can find out more about this interesting bus infrastructure, including some left-hand running, by clicking the link up above. It's not long before we approach downtown. I can already see Union Station, it's just a matter of making some twists and turns to get to the east side of the station. Get it to Union Station. Now, the funny thing is, is before I can go into the train station or into the city, I have to buy the ticket for the ride I just made uh, at a little kiosk here. So that's what we're gonna do because we are good moral citizens.
That's fascinating. They have it set up in a way where you have to pass by the ticket gate to leave the bus station. <laughs> it's pretty smart. It's like a restaurant you pay after you eat. Flyaway does not accept cash, but you can pay using debit or credit, as well as your tap card. Passengers holding monthly passes for the Metrolink commuter rail network can also ride for free when they show their flight ticket. Dude, Metrolink monthly pass holders get so many perks. Having paid, it's an easy transfer to Metrolink. This is the east side of the station, which connects directly to the underpass leading to the platforms. Remember, the west side of the station is much more beautiful, so check out my video on that here. As someone who was in a rush to catch a train, Flyaway was worth the high fare. Of course, the service is really only convenient to the people who need to travel through Union Station or Van Nuys. For most of the greater Los Angeles area, it's pretty pointless. Now before we go, let's talk about transit access to LAX. Flyaway is the direct way to go and it has the added convenience of stopping at each terminal. Otherwise, currently your only option to get to the airport by public transportation is to take either a bus or a combination of metro and bus. You gotta go to the city bus terminal and then transfer to an airport shuttle bus. I tried this on the same day on the way back and I had to wait so long for a shuttle I had to call a lift to catch my flight. That's why I'm excited for the Metro extension and the opening of the People Mover. The Metro will receive a new airport station where there will be a transfer to the People Mover serving all terminals. This plan has been heavily criticized and to an extent the criticisms are valid. There is a lack of direct transit access to each terminal and there is the fact that neither Metro line serving LAX will go directly downtown. I do believe that the latter is a bigger problem. As for transferring to a people mover, honestly I'm just not one of those people that sees transferring as an inherently bad thing. A good transfer can be better than an unreliable direct connection. A regular rail line acting as a terminal shuttle works well when there are only a few terminals like say in Minneapolis. But remember, LAX has 9 terminals, which the people mover will serve using 3 stations. Having the K-Line serve the terminals would not only put a lot of stress on this one section, leading to reliability issues farther up the line, but it would also disable the line from being able to go farther than LAX. And I also cannot imagine an airport requiring people to pay fare for inter-terminal trips, so that would complicate things too when it comes to paying fares. I don't know, I just think the fact that the LA Metro to LAX doesn't go into downtown is a much bigger problem than having to transfer to a people mover. People are used to spending a lot of time at the airport anyways, this is always better than finding a spot to park. Thanks for watching this video about Flyaway. What's airport transit like in your city? Let me know in the comments. We'll see you next time.